Shalom. I'm Eddie Chumney of Hebraic Heritage Ministries, and we welcome you to this week's Focus Israel Report. In this week's report, we're going to be looking at the Israeli political system. Israel is a parliamentary democracy, whereby the Prime Minister of Israel is the head of government of a multi party system. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in the Israeli legislature known as the Knesset. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. The political system of the state of Israel and its main principles are set out in 11 basic laws. Israel does not have a written constitution. The Israeli legislature, known as the Knesset, which means the assembly, is seated in Jerusalem. It has 120 members. They are elected to four-year terms through party list proportional representation as mandated by the 1958 Basic Law. Knesset seats are allocated among parties using a party list proportional representation. Parties select candidates using a closed list. Thus, voters select the party of their choice rather than any specific candidate. There are no separate electoral districts. All voters vote on the same party lists. Israel requires a party to meet an election threshold of 2% of the votes which are cast to be able to have a Knesset seat. This requirement aimed to eliminate smaller parties from parliament but spurred some parties to join together simply to overcome the 2% threshold. The low vote threshold for entry into parliament as well as the need for parties with small numbers of seats to form coalition governments results in a highly fragmented political system with small parties exercising extensive power relative to their electoral support within government coalitions. All Israeli citizens 18 years of age or older may participate in legislative elections which are conducted by secret ballot. The Knesset's 120 members are elected by secret ballot to four-year terms, although the Knesset may decide to call for new elections before the end of this four-year term, and a government can change without a general election. Since the 1988 election, no Knesset has finished its four-year term. A lack of confidence motion in the government may be presented by any political party for any reason in any week of the year. If there is a majority vote in the lack of confidence measure, then there is a call for new elections. The president selects the prime minister as the party leader most able to form a government. Based on the number of parliament seats, his or her coalition has won. After the president's selection, the prime minister has 45 days to form a government. The Knesset collectively must approve the members of the cabinet. This electoral system inherited from the Jewish settlement organization during the days of the British mandate, which stems from World War I, makes it very difficult for any party to gain a working majority in the Knesset, and thus governments generally form on the basis of coalitions. Due to the difficulties in holding coalitions together, elections often occur earlier than scheduled. The average lifespan of an Israeli government is 25 months. The Prime Minister of Israel is the head of the Israeli government and the most powerful political figure in Israel. The Prime Minister is the country's chief executive. The official residence of the Prime Minister is in Jerusalem. The current Prime Minister is Benjamin Netanyahu of the Likud party and he is the ninth Israeli Prime Minister to hold the position excluding those who had the position for temporary period of times 
because of the particular circumstances at the time. Following an election, the president nominates a member of the Knesset to become prime minister after asking party leaders whom they support for the position. The nominee then presents a government platform and must receive a vote of confidence in order to become prime minister. Between 1996 and 2001, the prime minister of Israel was directly elected by the people separately from the Knesset. The judicial branch is an independent branch of the government, including secular and religious courts for the various religions present in Israel. The court system involves three stages of justice. Israeli judicial courts consist of a three-tier system. Magistrate court serves as the court of first instance. District courts serves as the appellate courts and also serves as the court of first instance for some cases. And then the Supreme Court, which is located in Jerusalem, acts as an appellate court and as the High Court of Justice as a court of first instance, often in matters concerning the legality of decisions of state authorities. There are also religious courts in Israel. Some issues of family law regarding marriage and divorce in particular fall either under the jurisdiction of religious courts or under parallel jurisdiction of those in state family courts. The state maintains and finances rabbinical, sharla, and various canon ecole courts for the needs of the various religious communities. All judges are civil servants and required to uphold general law in their tribunals as well. The High Court of Justice serves as final appellate instance for all religious courts. The Jewish religious authorities are under control of the Prime Minister's office and the Chief Rabbinate of Israel. These courts have jurisdiction in only five areas. Kashrut, which concerns dietary eating, Sabbath, Jewish burial, marital issues, especially divorce, and Jewish status of immigrants. However, except for determining a person's marital status, all other marital issues may also be taken by secular family courts. The other major religions in Israel, such as Islam and Christianity, are supervised by their own establishment of religious law. These courts have similar jurisdiction over their followers, although Muslim religious courts have more control over over family affairs. The most recent elections in Israel, which occurred in February of 2009, produced five prominent political parties, each of which has more than 10 seats in the Israeli Knesset. They are Kadima, Likud, Israel Batenu, Labor, and Shas. Likud, Labor, and Kadima have been ruling parties in Israel in the past. However, only once has a single party had a majority of Knesset seats, thus not needing a coalition of parties to govern. And that would mean they need 61 votes. Therefore, Aside from the one exception, 1968 to 1969, since the founding of the State of Israel in 1948, all Israeli governments have had to have coalition parties. In the 2009 Israeli elections, there are 12 political parties represented in the Knesset, spanning both the political and religious elements of Israeli society. We are now going to examine these parties, how many are in the Knesset, and their basic political views. The political party in Israel who has the most seats in the Knesset is the Kadima party, followed by Likud. Kadima has 28 seats. Likud, the party of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, 27. Israel Batenu, which is a Russian immigrant party, 15. Then the Labour Party, who received 13 seats in the 2009 elections, but have since split where five of those 13 members formed a new party that is headed by Ehud Barak, the defense minister of Israel. There are five in this party known as the Independence Party, and that remains eight of the Labor Party. And the Labor Party is mainly a democratic social party in Israel. Then we have nationalistic and religious parties 
consisting of the Shah's party, which is a Sephardic Jewish Orthodox political party, United Torah Judaism, which is an Orthodox party, and we have national parties of the National Union and the Jewish Home, and then we have a left-wing party in Israel known as Meretz. Now, Shaz has 11 seats. United Torah Judaism, five seats, National Union, four, Jewish Home, three, and Maretz, three. Looking at the Kadima party, it means forward. It is a centrist Israeli political party that was formed in November 2005 by Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon following his split after being elected to head the Likud party. Because of Ariel Sharon's policy to withdraw from the Gaza Strip in certain West Bank settlements in the fall of 2005, this encountered opposition from within his Likud party. So Ariel Sharon decided to form an alternative party that consisted of both members from the Likud party and those from the Israeli Social Democratic Party, the Labor Party. A number of prominent members of the Likud, such as Ehud Olmert, a former mayor of Jerusalem, and Zippy Livni, Israel's Minister of Justice, and a small number from Labor are a part of the Kadima Party today. The Kadima Party calls for the establishment of a disarmed, tear-free Palestinian state alongside Israel and the preservation of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and the large West Bank settlement blocks remaining under Israeli control. The Likud party is historically a right-wing political party in Israel that dominated Israeli politics in the 1980s and 1990s. It was founded in 1973 from a coalition of several parties. The Likud advocated for extending Israeli sovereignty to territories it conquered during the 67 Six-Day War, which in 1973 included the Sinai, the Golan Heights, the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip. The party still maintains Jews' claims to the West Bank and the Golan, although it is under Likud leaders that Israel agreed to withdraw from the Sinai following the 78 Camp David Agreement and unilaterally withdraw from the Gaza Strip in 2005. Some of the Likud party leaders that have been Prime Minister of Israel are Menachem Begin, Yitzhak Shamir, Benjamin Netanyahu, current Prime Minister of Israel, and Ariel Sharon. The Labor Party was established in 1968 as a coalition of several political parties. Labor is the dominant left to center party in Israel until Menachem Begin's victory in 1977 of the Likud, every Israeli prime minister since the founding of the nation of Israel in 1948 came from the Labor Party. Since 1977, Labor prime ministers in Israel were Yitzhak Rabin, Shimon Peres, and Ehud Barak. The Israel Labor Party is a social democratic political party and to the achievement of a comprehensive peace with the Palestinians with security for Israel. The next party, Israel Betenu, which means Israel Our Home, is a right-wing party established in 1999 by Ivigdor Lieberman, an immigrant from the former Soviet Union. The party became the fifth largest political faction following the 2006 general elections, with more than half of Israel's Russian immigrants voting for it. The party's two core principles are encouraging social economic opportunities for new immigrants and taking a hard line in peace negotiations with the Palestinians and Arab states. Israel Batenu is in favor of a peace settlement with the Palestinians, but advocates replacing the land for peace approach with a mutual exchange of territories and populations under the principle of peace for peace, land for land. Other parties in Israel, the Shas, United Torah Judaism, National Union, Jewish Home, are a collection of Orthodox Jewish parties and national parties in Israel who do not want to see a Palestinian state and even in some cases advocate Israel annexing the entire West Bank. Finally, we have the Meretz party, and they are a left-wing political party in Israel, only three seats, and they emphasize a peace agreement with the Palestinians. Well, this concludes this week's Focus Israel 
report. We pray that's been helpful to you to understand the Israeli political system. Until we do it again next week, Shalom in Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. Amen.